All right. Okay, this session got us a neat little radio here. Uh, this is a pretty common radio. As a matter of fact, it's very common. It's it's RCA um, Radio 3A. And um, you can get them on eBay just about any time at all for, you know, 100 bucks or so. You, you don't want to pay a lot for them. There's just so many of them around. Um, let's see. All right, the box is in really good condition. There's a little split right here we'll have to glue, but the, the finish on it, it's, it's got a few little bad spots we'll have to work on, but it looks like we'll be able to salvage the finish on most of it. All right, we'll set that aside. Okay, now, the thing that is mostly wrong with these radios, 99% of the time, these transformers. Almost always, those transformers are burned out. At least one winding is burned out in them. Okay, we got one, two, three of the dead gum things. Okay, one of them is a choke. All right, let's get a meter. I'm going to set it on the 1K. Put your meter on a 1K scale and measure between each of the terminals and make sure you've got reading. And we've got it. 1K on each of those. That's the output, output inductor. Okay, now let's see. Here. This thing's been worked on. All right, that one is good. As a matter of fact, I know it's been worked on. I can see down in there, I can see the wires from the replacement coils in there. This one has been recoiled. Okay, very good. Let's straighten that a little bit. Make that look neater. This one has already had the coils replaced in these two transformers. All right, now I've got a wire here which goes somewhere and I have no idea where. Um, okay, no idea whatsoever where that goes. Okay, we've got some fasteners and resistor here. Okay, go to the high we're going to measure that. Okay, those are the capacitors. This is the grid leak. Okay, we're reading around, oh, looks like maybe 7 megs, which is okay. That, that's fine. Okay, for all I know, the thing's been repaired also. <laughs> okay. Tube sockets look like they're in good shape. Sometimes you got to bend the little terminals on the tube sockets to um, tighten them up on the pins, but we'll ha we'll have to see. But I do have one wire here. I have no idea where it goes. All right, let's go ahead and get some get some wire here. Okay, well, all right, those are good. Okay, let me go get volume one of the riders. Well, it seems it says plus 80. That seems pretty high for WD11 tubes, but uh, that's what they say, so I guess it is. Okie doke, that gets us our colors. Okay, that gets our wires ready to go.
Okay, there's our original. These are quite a nuisance to make. Um, the, the spacing of the elements inside of is, is very tight, uh, so it makes it to where you've got to be really, really careful when you, when you space the filament and the grid and stuff. And if you get it wrong, then the, the darn thing won't work. It, it, they, they don't have very good gain. And then Okay. Okay, something is, is screwed. Um, which means the green and the black are the end. Well, those two are supposed to be connected together, and they is new it. They is new to connected together. <clears throat> okay, so filament here, got it. And then filament here. Alright, that gets all of the wiring. I've got everything connected. We've got connections to all of the connections. The wire, everything is looking good. Alright, next thing to do, we'll put some tubes in it. Connect up the power supply. Alright, so let's see. Now, this one. The output tube is there, so this one over here is going to be the regenerator. Okay, that's the um, original. I'm going to put that one in the regeneration. Highest gain. Okay, we've got a problem. The uh, rubber things that hold those in place are not a holding on this one over here. This one, the rubber things have been replaced. This one, they haven't. All right, let me get some rubber. All right, this is the rubber. And we'll put a piece on the bottom and a piece on the top, just like we did on this one. All right. So we need a piece that long. Just down a little to clamp it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ooh, it's in there tight. It's in there tight. Again. 
Okay, this end we get the RF tube. Another one. <clears throat> one of my homemade jobs. That's the original. This is a homemade one. I don't know if the originals and the homemade ones will work together. We'll see. They should. Right? <laughs> Look at that. Boy, that looks good. Okay. I like the looks of mine better than the original. I like the RCA on top, but I also like the tips. Okay. Power supply and speaker. I'm going to go 1.6 volts. I don't want to have any chance of burning these tubes out. Okay, I'm going to turn the filament down. Battery setting down. Okay. Now, I've got the antenna here. Okay, now I've got this written down here. I'm not reading any current at all on the uh, filament. Oh, doke. Well, let's do a little bit of little bit of ohming here. That one goes to this. Okay, this one goes over here. That one's wrong too. That one is wrong too. If I measure from this red, I go to here, which is the detector. And if I measure from the brown, which is this one, All right, that is not not correct. Okay, I'm going to swap those two wires. Okay, this is a mistake here. Here. Okay. All right, now that gets these wires. 45 and 20. Okay, so we hook, hook the brown to there and the red goes to the high voltage. Okay. Let's get going again. Okay. Okay, we run on the P plus. We're pulling a lot of current for no reason. Okay. Pulling a lot of current. Okay. Why? Pulling current on the red. Okay. We're pulling about 34 milliamps on the red. There's, there's no reason for that. Not going through the speaker, that's for sure. So what that means is this wire is connected incorrectly. All right, let's see what that does. Okay. Okay, now the wire that comes from here
now we've got it, okay? We should see ohms from the grid to ground, and a grid to ground, and from the plate, we don't. Plate to B plus, we do. Grid to B plus, we don't. <laughs> Here. Okay. But you don't hear anything out of the radio. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. Um. Oh, we don't hear anything because the speaker's not plugged in. It's like we're losing connection onto that rotating coil. All right, let me get onto here. Okay, we definitely are. We're losing connection when it gets to a certain point. Okay, piece of nice Teflon. Teflon wire here. Okay, I'm going to go through there. Grab her. Put that right there. Okay, this piece of shit here is absolutely useless. Okay. Let me just cut that off of there all together. Okay. Okay. Now we go down through the hole, turn that around, and we solder it onto the connection in there. There we go. Now, Okay, it flexes, but it is not... See, before they had to flex just in one spot on the wire. And that made it to where it wore, wore it out over the years. Probably it lasted 10 years or 15 years, which is fine. But this thing's almost 100 years old. Power on. Oh. Oh, no. property 
<laughs> it works good, man. Running is so... That's a radiola 3A all a working. Whew. Well, my homemade tubes take a lot more current than the uh, originals. We we're pulling about two and a half amps here in filament current because my tubes take about a half amp each, and original uh, WD11s take um, oh 50 milliamps or something. Very very little. That's okay. It works. It works, and I didn't pay any hundred dollars a piece for those tubes either. Okay, next the box. Okie dokie, a working Radiola 3A. All right, we got the box. Okay, the box looks real good. It's it, it you know it's a little discolored, but. Uh, there's one place here where it got battery acid on it. I'm going to leave it the way it is. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean it up, lacquer it, and that's going to do it. I'm going to leave the finish the way it is. There's one joint here that's loose. I'm going to slop some glue in there, and that's going to take care of the box. Okay, we'll have to do that out in the shop. Okay. Okay, it's only one joint there. This, this has got bad. And... We shall go ahead slop some juice in there. Okay. It's going to do. Now to hold it, we just take some bungee cord here. And that will do the trick. Okay, now I'm going to just leave that for a few hours to set. Okay, that's going to do it. All right, we stained it with plain um, uh, Minwax dark walnut. I forgot to turn the camera on. I, I, I turned the camera on, but it didn't go on. It 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 um, it went into uh, just standby mode. Okay, but you see the the box is just stained with the plain uh, dark walnut stain, and um, go ahead and let that dry. And gum it. I've got to get a, 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 an easier to use camera. The buttons are so small in this thing you can't tell if it's working or not. All right, camera off. That's been sitting overnight. Okay, I'm going to use urethane spray on this one. Um, Alright, now, 
getting turned over. It has little buttons on the bottom, so it's not setting the um, the sprayed area right on the paper. Well, I thought it wasn't. Okay. The paper's bunched up. Let's see. Okay, there's a smooth area right there. Okay, that's it. All right, we'll let that harden for um, a few hours, and then we'll put the radio in it, and it should be done. Okay, our box is absolutely beautiful. So what we have to do first is, let's see, we have to get this wire through the back hole. That, okay. There she goes. Very good. Then we just and get the radio itself here. Okay. Now we got little clips that have to be the correct direction. Okay, that one's correct. This one has to go that way. Let me see. Okay, that one goes there. I got one I'm missing. I don't have it. It's just one, just one of the things we just ain't got. Okay, now here, those two are correct. All right, I've got the screws right here. And, all right. Okay. Good. Okay, then these two go right here. And the other one. Let's see. We connect up the um, filament goes to the green. All right. The red is to the 45. Okay, and the other one is brown. Red. Okay, this is the brown, and it goes to what that's doing. Classic. And that's going to the green one. Okay, and then the black one goes to here. Okay, and then we've got these two speakers. Go here. In our antenna, all right, goes to here. Okay, we should be able to turn it on and have something happen. That was lit.
Okay. It coiled. It detunes it when you put your hand there. <laughs> okay, we go here and we get a different set. Okay, that's it. A working Radiola 3A radio. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, this one goes into my collection. Um, got our WD-11 tubes. Wow. Okay, that's it.